Hey guys, it's Rebecca Versat, and in today's video, I'm going to try my hand at depotting. I have a number of tools, some of which I have bought off of like Amazon, which I got looking at them and I'm thinking they're a little bit too uh, thick. And I, it came with different size, like 3M things as well, but I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, I had just cut all my nails off. I even pulled out the 91% isopropyl alcohol and a pipette and some paper towels just in case I do break one. Or more. Um, but this will be my first time trying one of these kinds of things. Um, and I even tried to like pull boxes and whatnot for, for things so I could put packaging, I don't know, back in it. I don't know why I would do that. I'll probably just try and recycle what I can. Uh, but I have my flat iron on, and this is currently at 200 degrees Celsius. This is a, um, a thorn flat iron. So I have some parchment paper, and I don't know why YouTubers usually like rip off a whole bunch of this stuff, but I have scissors in my drawer here that I plan on using to cut this if I need to. So what my plan is, um, is to take the products out of my magnetic palettes that I already have and make sure that they're labeled. Like I have a couple of items in here. If you look, it just kind of meanders around. So I'm going to have to put a, a thing on the back of that and I will label it, of course. And what I want to start doing with my monthly makeup basket is making little like single type palettes instead of pulling. And I did pull the items that I had pulled from my shop, my stash for this, this month, which is right here. But I have these magnetic palettes that I used to sell. And of course these are used, they're beat up. But a blush, a bronzer, a highlight pan, those kinds of things should fit in here with a couple of eyeshadows. And um, I want to start pulling some of these things each month as well, instead of just letting my single shadows just kind of sit here and then just pulling them every now and again when I actually remember. So I have a colorful one and I have more like a, a neutral one here. And I just heard something move. Um, but I also have the one that has all my like face products in it. And these are all like the single things that I call them. But the reason I want to do this is because of this bad boy right here. That this is the product. This is it. And it's in this. And I forget that I have this because I leave this sit on my shelf in the back in the cabinet. And I'm like, no, I need to do something about this. This is this is wasteful. There's so much freaking cardboard here. And I am, I don't know. Maybe it, I'm just hoping that if I do this, I will remember to use some of these things more frequently than instead. Um, I have pulled all my eyeshadow trays out. I have pulled highlighters and bronzers and blushes. And um, like I said, I did pull all like the little packaging and stuff that came from these things because not everything in them are, are labeled. Um, and so that's what this video is. And I'm going to probably speed up the rest of this or cut parts of it or whatever because I'm going to be listening to music on my headphones. I have a bunch of different tools laid out here. I even pulled some like jewelry tools as well because again, I don't have any fingernails. I even have like little eyeglass repair. These are like flat, um, flathead like screwdrivers that I pulled just in case I can't get in tiny spaces. I even pulled this so I could like maybe use it to poke things. I have a safety pin. I've got my tweezers and of course a sharpie to write everything, you know, write on everything. So, um, wish me luck. I, I hope I don't break nothing. I even have this just in case I do break one so I can put alcohol and things and mix it up. But yeah, this is my first attempt at ever doing this. So we'll see how bad this goes. And I mean, I've seen Georgia Harris do this a bunch of times. I've never done it myself personally, but you know, there's always a first for everything. And like I said, I bought this off of Amazon and it came with the little magnetic things. So if you want, I can leave that link down below the jewelry tools and stuff I've had for years. So I have no idea where the hell I got these anymore. This is part of my wax carving set for doing lost wax casting. And I just grabbed one of them cause it's got like a little slanted like shovel end. And then I've got a, an arrowhead shaped one on the other side. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you. 
stop this here. Um, I have only done blushes, bronzers, and highlights, and I have all of these eyeshadows to get done. So this is all the packaging that came from everything that I've done so far. Um, so I'm going to put this right here. And what I had initially planned to do while doing this is pull like blushes and bronzers and highlights and eyeshadows and make like a little um, magnetic palette to use for like my monthly makeup stash. Well, I kind of filled both of these up and then I've got this one full now, and this is just blushes and bronzers. And that's all of like everything I was going to depot. I did pull two of the products, which were the Physician's Formula, the small versions of these. I already have the bigger versions. I'm not going to ruin those by depotting them. I'll probably just sell those. So they'll, um, they'll you know, I'll, I'll list them on Depop. The other thing I didn't decide to do was this one here, which is the NYX one, because number one, um, I don't see a whole lot of gaps in there. And two, it's kind of, I don't know, handy to have it in that. And my little tool at the end is like starting to get like bent at the very tip from me prying things out with it because this really is too thick. So now what I need to do is figure out how much space I have in here because these are all the magnetic palettes that I own. I don't own any more than these. So I'm going to go through and figure out like how many I can fit here, how many I can fit here, and then um, squish all these like up so that um, they're all on like the same row and whatnot. A couple of these need magnets. Um, but I'm going to swish them up and see how many, how much more room I have. And then that'll let me know how many of these I can feasibly do in order to get everything to fit. So, um, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and pull, um, you know, try and rearrange this with the blushes, bronzers, and highlights and the few face pow powders that I have and try and get them all like organized in here a little bit better and see how much space that I have left. And then I will go from there. Um, I will be recording eyeshadows at another time because this is like going to be a very long video. So anyways, this is my very first attempt at doing this. And um, for those, I don't know if I said in the beginning, my flat iron, it was at 200 degrees Celsius the whole time. So I kept it at 200 degrees and it is a, um, a ceramic flat iron and I just turned it off. Um, I, anything that looked like it needed alcohol got alcohol. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. And so I will leave like this tool listed in the description box as well as like the little, you know, the Amazon listing I got this from. But again, like I said, it's too thick, which is why I'm glad that I have this jewelry tool with me. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy. I will be speeding up the majority of this and put music or something behind it. I did not talk through any of it. Um, <laughs> I was watching YouTube on my phone the whole time. So <sighs> yeah, so I'm going to rearrange all of these and then figure out how many of these eyeshadows that I can feasibly pull out of packaging and stuff. Cause I mean, having like a bazillion of these things, is just going to drive me insane. So like the little ones like this that are super tiny, I'll probably be able to pull. I've got one, a nomad one there. Anything that's in like bulky packaging like this, I want to get rid of. So those will probably be on the chopping block first. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Like I said, this is my first time doing any type of depotting at all. I used to watch Georgia Harris do it all the time. That's actually how I found her channel was watching her do that. And now she doesn't do any of that stuff anymore. She does like art stuff and I'm just really not into that. So I don't watch her anymore. 
So anyways, hopefully this is helpful for somebody. Um, I just watched Georgia Harris and I will leave her video playlist linked uh, down below as well if you want to learn how I did. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye.